This is a true story. Well, at least part of it. So how y'all are? Welcome back for another engagement 4.0 Demystified. This is a true story, at least the beginning of it is. I was off to the call center world in Berlin, checking in at the airport, saw the check-in line was really long, and remembered I had forgotten to check in on the mobile app. So I started up the app there and just began checking in for my, at a point there, a certain error popped up on the screen. And the error said, please call our service center. The button, of course, there then had a telephone number. I pushed the button and it popped out of the check-in app and started the phone. I got the automated message. I was in the IVR. Ah! All right, we know what happens there. I've talked about it before. What could have been a better solution, sure, Errors happen. When I click the button, it stays in the app, calls the contact center, takes the data along with the call, all the information that they have about me. I'm logged into the application and send that directly to an appropriate agent. The agent can greet me, say, good morning, Mr. Mayor. I see you're trying to check in for the, your flight to Berlin. How can I help? You? Easy. That's really not hard to do. WebRTC, we'll talk about that in another video. But making the data call from within the application to the contact center, that's omni-channel. Started as a web application, turns into a phone call, data transmitted across the call directly to the person to help me here. This is the omni-channel. Yay! But wait. That's not what really should have happened. What they should have done, they should have queried my telephone, the smartphone. They could have easily found out where I was standing. They should have known that I was standing just five meters from their service company. They were paying for a person behind that counter anyway. Why get me into their contact center? They should have popped up on my screen. Hey, you silly man, follow the arrow and telling me go five meters to the service camp, which is what I ended up doing anyway. That would have saved them work in the contact center, would have saved me time. That's all possible today, people. Why isn't your airline doing things like that? Yay!